I do a lot of design work for a living, and uh, I'm one of those people, I, I like to stay out of the box. The guys at Kingspeed, they're like, so which way you want to route the exhaust? And I'm thinking, man, let's just go straight out and make it crazy. So definitely an eye catcher going down the road. Rolls a lot of coal, let's put it that way. <laughs> My name is Kyle Cochran from here in Bowling Green, Kentucky. My company, Rustic Nail, and company, we, uh, we built this as our shop truck and we plan on fully using it every day. It's definitely a driver. We're, we're not concerned about waxing and polishing every time we get it out. We want to get down the road and use it. We spent a lot of time making sure that it rode good, make sure that it was exactly what we wanted and needed uh, for our business. And uh, instead of going to the lot, buying a truck that's going to depreciate, we decided we'd build our own and have something that's got some value. It's a 1948 Dodge, ton and a half truck. Everything is all handmade. I'm an artist at heart, so I like to really go into as much detail as possible and understand tools that it takes to make all this stuff. And I've been across the country studying metal shaping and utilizing some of these tools. Uh, we, we use everything from bead rollers to dimple die sets, punching flares, crater makers, a lot of metal work. A lot of things that most people wouldn't normally think of and we're, we're thrilled with the outcome and thankful to be here. Uh, we pretty much only used the cab and the front clip as you can see and uh, built the entire chassis custom all the way through front to rear. Holding a twin turbo second gen Cummins, uh, that King Speed Diesel here in Bowling Green, they built the motor and transmission for it and uh, it, it'll get down the road pretty good. It's got uh, full Acura air, air ride. Um, E-level setup, Restomod air conditioning units, uh, but it, it's loaded to the hilt. My dad and I have celebrated our Father's Day uh, this weekend here at Holly Hot Rod Reunion for I couldn't even tell you since I was you know no taller than most fenders. Uh, we had been dreaming a long time to have our own, and uh, I've been fortunate and blessed to be able to do this and uh, kind of as a hobby. And here we are, so got our own in here now.